the ceremony has now been confirmed as the country's new leader. Setting something of a record for high-speed, high-level talks, President Nixon drops in at Chequers for talks with the Prime Minister less than half an hour after he'd arrived at London Airport by jet. He was on his way back from reviewing America's sixth fleet in the Mediterranean. Mr. Heath, escorting his guest across the lawns of his country home, spent an hour and a half discussing world problems with the President. The Queen had arranged to join them later. Her Majesty, making the first ever visit to Chequers by a British sovereign, was among a party of 17 being entertained to lunch by the Prime Minister. The occasion was informal, with no speeches or special protocol. Other guests included Foreign Secretary Sir Alec Douglas Hume and his wife, and American Secretary of State William Rogers with his wife. Also there was Mrs. Nixon, who arrived separately by helicopter. After lunch, the Queen left for Balmoral, and the two leaders resumed their discussions. After that, President and Mrs. Nixon were departing for a three-day visit to ERA. Their zip-along stay in Britain lasted just five and a quarter hours. A gala match at Twickenham to mark the opening of Rugby Union's centenary 